My name is Death. First ring. Number one from day one. I've been making the Christmas one longer than anybody except the fat boy himself. I've been the reindeer every year for as long as reindeer can fly. So I don't have to put up with this shit! One time, I wasn't really reindeer. One time, one foggy Christmas Eve. Yeah, right. Fine. You know what? what? I don't want to talk about it. Just one time, he was the lead reindeer. And I'm winning again. And where am I? Right back at the front of the pack the very next year and every year since. So, you want to tell me it was fog? Fine. It was fog. <laughs> well, I'm not challenging that. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it anymore. Okay. All I'm saying is. Okay. All I'm saying is fog my reindeer ass. I have seen blizzards and torrents of freezing rain and sleet and lightning on Christmas Eve. I've seen a nice one. Jagged shards of broken glass whipping through the air like bullets. Whipping it. And there's blood all over our bodies from being all cut off. And it's freezing. And we're pulling too short. Because Blitzen and the faggot decided to stay home. Yep. They didn't want to go. Unsafe working conditions. My fuzzy ass. They were chucking shits. Hmm? They knew it was bad. They knew something wasn't going to go down. They had that funny feeling in your hand. There's going to be an earthquake or when something's just going to go down wrong. It's the year we lost, what's his name? Oh, uh, Guy Hollywood replaced. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Vixen's mate, uh, Victor! Victor. Victor. His <laughs> eye was cut off real bad from one of those real weird ice storms. We were coming down real hard on a real steep gabled roof and it slipped. Light just snapped. Bone sliced right in the water. Gone before you knew what happened. Fat boy just unhitched him and said, Whoa, 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 boys, we've got a run to make. We did. And there was Christmas. Thanks to the five of us. Thanks to Victor. There was Christmas. He knew it was bad, too. He knew that something like this could happen. But he wasn't sitting at home saying, that's too dangerous, sir. I got a bad feeling. Every boy and girl on the face of this earth is counting on us to bring Christmas joy to their home. And we have no business sitting at the North Pole watching TV saying, Glad I'm not out of that or I don't get paid for that. That is exactly what we get paid for. I can name you 50 flying reindeer right now. We're going on a clear night. Temperatures in the mid 30s. We're supposed to be the eight. The elite. There's a problem, we handle fog. I'll take the risk of flying head first from the side of the skyscraper that wasn't there before. I've done it. <laughs> Three times. And am I accusing somebody else of unchristmas like behavior? No, I am not. My risk. My problem. Besides, it doesn't matter because I survived. I'm still here, still running, still at the front, this year, next year, and every year. <clears throat> so, you want to hear my story? running around all over the fucking place. That's not Christmas. It's not Christmas, and it's not taking responsibility for your own whatever actions. It's not taking responsibility, period. So we've got responsibility. 
And what if they do find something else? What if? What if? Do we hand it over to the elves and walk away? Well, I'm sorry I quit. I should have had No, I'm sorry, Johnny and, and Jamie and Jamal and the two billion other kids all over the world for whom Santa Claus is Christmas. I'm sorry, I just wasn't happy here, so you can never be happy again on Christmas for as long as you live.